Hey guys, I swing for here. Anyway, today I'm going to be going over my little micro foundry that I built in art class. Uh, there was some leftover clay, and I said build whatever, so I decided to make this. And uh, pretty simple operation. This slides open like so, and inside we have the three footers to place the crucible so the heat can get up underneath it. And then you see that hole right there on the side there and that allows for let's move this tank out of the way that allows for low torch low torch to be inserted like that <clears throat> and then that will swirl around the crucible all the way up and out the hole and probably a little leakage along here because uh, this piece warped a little bit when it fired um, tools we have these needle nose pliers this is a little thing I made it looks like uh, copper, it's just plated, it's actually steel. And then of course the little crucible with, this is just some aluminum slag I have. I think this was a Coke can or two at one point. Uh, I'm just using that for preliminary testing. And then of course my safety goggles in case the shatters or splatter or whatever. So pretty much what you'd have. Um, right now I'm just doing testing to make sure everything works. I'm going to heat this up first, get this a little warm, slowly warm everything. Um, Obviously, I wouldn't be touching this with my hand. I'd use either this or since clay just so happens to be such a good insulator of heat and other things, I can just grab here. Obviously, I'll test this before I do it, but grab there, set it out of the way. Take my crucible like so. Carefully place that down in there. Not like that because I'm trying to film with oh, one hand. Place that down in there like so. It's good to go. Close her up. And then from there, I can go ahead and set up my little pouring thing while that's heating. Once that is set and it's melted, and I'll open that up. Put these down in there. Grab that out. Put that there. Actually, put it like so this up and we're ready to pour so that can be poured into whatever and then set back down and done again <clears throat> so anyway this is going to be just to see if this will stay lit because it doesn't have many air intake holes unless it is down there which I think it might be so that would be convenient if that is the case so that'll be like that um, I'm gonna do it without the crucible at first if everything works okay then I'll throw this in and uh, see if it melts it. So, I'll put the camera down for a second and screw on the propane tank. Glasses on. So it seems to be working pretty good. Insulating well, throwing out quite a bit of heat. So now I believe it's time to put the crucible in. And see if it'll melt some stuff. There we go. So as far as temperature is concerned, it seems to have insulated it pretty well. Now it's time for the real test. Well, 
it melt. We're going on. So I'll let that run for a little bit and uh, get back to you.